Welcome to episode 7. We're going to play Paralysis if I'm pronouncing it right. Who's playing on the same violin? DJ's creepy. Let's start then. You wake up in an unfamiliar place. Where do you go? Do you want me to... No, if I turn back, then that's the end of the game. Go forward. You enter a clearing. Something is sitting on a bench and there's a dock. Let's uh, approach the figure. It holds out two keys, two stick... Mm. That is always right. That is always right. Left. You choose wrong, it kills you. Try again. Okay. I'll choose that one then. Uh, middle. You wake up. Am I really paralysed? Go away! Let's refresh. I am not going to the no. I'm gonna go to the docks. The docks is broken, you can't go forward. Post the figure then. Choose that key and this time I'm not choosing the middle. You wake up the end. Okay, that was a quick game. Follow done by Twigs, that was. Yeah. 
Let's see what other game I can do. Let's dive into the world of Ali and Sal. Oh, Alio. Alo. I can't say. I'm just going to say Alio and Cal. If you are a furry. This is a game for you. I'm shouting out to people that are my friends too. Here we go. Welcome to the world of Alari and Cal. This demo encompasses the first day of the full release. Enjoy. A simple slice of shortcake. Despite its modesty, it has the potential to send a diner to culinary heaven with each bite. From its lightly sweet whipped cream to its fluffy crumb. A simple slice of shortcake can be the perfect ending to a wonder. Please tell me who is reserving a seat at chef's table. His name is King. to order exactly what you wish to dine upon. There are many choices on the menu for each course and occasionally the chef will send out a special amuse bosh. Amuse the bosh to you. In the end, however, the meal you will be having tonight will ultimately be based on the decision you make. Sweet, sour, salty and bitter, each tenderly prepared dish has its place and purpose on your table. I hope that you will enjoy your meal. I hope I do too. Hello, Kiwi! I'm sorry to bother you, but can I come in? Only if you're friendly. You better be friendly. Come on in then. The knocking on the door followed by the soft voice gently wakes you up from your sleep. You can come in. Thank you. I'm sorry for intruding on you like this in the morning. I apologise once again but this is about our new roommate that is arriving today. Did you sleep well? I'm glad to hear that. I felt like a rock. All of these new things have affected you in the haven't affected you in the slightest it seems. Anyway, 
Way Kiwi, your, I mean, our new roommate, will be arriving in the afternoon today. Like me, he was able to get off work today so he could finish moving his things in. I just thought I'd give you a reminder so that you're not taken by surprise when he pounds on the door and asks where Alari Monocot is. That's just the kind of guy he is, so don't let his brusqueness offend you. He's always mean, well, so make sure to keep that in mind. Did this really require a warning? My statement comes across as a bit ominous, I suppose. Well, all I can say is that you receive a fair warning then. Alari chuckles to himself softly as he turns towards the door. Anyways, I'm heading to the dining room to have some breakfast. Would you like to join me? Sure, just let me get ready. Alright, I'll see you in a little bit then. Hello, everyone. walks off and closes your bedroom door as he leaves. It'd be best if you get ready quickly so you don't keep him waiting. Get out of bed, change pyjamas and head out to the kitchen. When you head towards the kitchen, you see a lorry rummaging through the drawers. Where is my... Oh, Kiwi. I wasn't... Uh, actually, tell a lie. I was just grabbing a spoon. I was going to say I wasn't, but I was. Since we've just moved in, there isn't that much food to be honest. I was able to find some yoghurt however, would you like some? Strawberry sounds perfect. I, I just chopped up some strawberries for my own, so that sounds fine. Grab the bowl, proportions the strawberries into two bowls with some yogurt into each. Here! I'll join you at the table in just a sec. Thank you! Mmm! Are you eating before me? Silly, you know we're supposed to eat at the same time. Anyway, take a seat at the table. Before you drop your food. Now we can eat. Ooh! Hello, this tastes better than expected. Did you make it yourself? Jeez, now I bought it at the shop. Of course I made it myself. And anyway, I apologise for keeping you waiting. I really love the taste of fresh strawberries. They're almost out of season, so I'd like to enjoy them while I can. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Oh! Hmm. Okay. That 
that was a new roommate. It seems that he may be arriving a bit later than expected. When will he be there? Oh, let me see. He'll probably arrive late in the afternoon or after it gets dark. Oh! Two seconds. I got a message. That's just like him. <laughs> Um, what? What's up? It's it's nothing. It doesn't seem like nothing. He just sent me another text. That's all. I wonder what my roommate will be like. Anyways, we have the afternoon to ourselves. Never mind your roommate right now. How about we go for a walk? You did tell me yesterday that you wanted me to show you around Pakun. Oh yeah, Pakum, that's the place. Considering this is our house key, we I expected you to know the area already. Some, not all. <laughs> it's alright now, I just moved here so I shouldn't tease you over that. The banter can go a lot a long way. A new place can be scary but I assure you that the town of Pokum is a wonderful place to live in. Now if you want to see this next part watch the next episode and I will see y'all very soon. The next episode might be short.